I'm gonna preface this video by saying you don't need music theory to become a great musician. Guess what? In music, rules are meant to be broken. But if you have an understanding of those rules before you break them, you'll understand how to break them and why to break them and when to break them. Let me give you a concrete example because those words are just words. How about we take a chord progression, C major, A minor, E minor. If you were to hear those chords without knowing music theory, you would have to rely solely on your ear to understand what to do over those chords, whether it's soloing, accompanying, or anything of that realm. In order to blend in with those chords and understand what's happening, you're relying on just your muscle memory and your ears, what you're used to playing. And most people, I think, would probably go for the E minor pentatonic scale. <laughs> And that's why I preface this video saying what I said. That sounds great. It's just the E minor pentatonic scale and that's a lot of guitar players comfort zone and a lot of guitar legends who I idolize have made their living because of that one scale. But I think music theory might get a bad rap because you think that by knowing music theory, it takes away what I just played it. It removes that from my mind. It says, you're only going to be a programmed mathematical robot if you learn music theory. You're not going to be able to play with soul and feel anymore, which is so wrong. This is our world. Music theory just lives in it. Music theory is a tool. It is not something that governs what we do as guitar players and musicians. So let me show you how music theory would affect my approach to that same chord progression of C, A minor, E minor. The first thing I would understand is that this progression is derived from the key of G major. And I know that because I know the major scale. In case you're wondering, the G major scale looks exactly like this. Now I can see we have a C note, and then we have our A note, and then we have our E note. So I can see that it's derived from the G major scale because I understand the intervals. Let's back up. I'm not trying to show you music theory in this video. I'm not trying to teach you anything right now. I'm saying terminology that if you've never heard of music theory, then you don't know what I'm talking about, but that's not important because I'm gonna demonstrate what I mean through music, which you do understand. So now that I understand what key this chord progression is, I now have access to the entire G major scale. And that's my point right there. I have access to more information than I did if I hadn't known music theory. So I can be more expressive and have a larger buffet to fill my plate with than I would if I only knew how to play by ear, I only knew that E minor pentatonic scale or a couple scales that maybe I've made up in my head. So here's why this is important. I don't believe you're ever smarter or better for not knowing how to do something and it's not to say that you have to implement it at every turn in the musical road, but it's saying that when you need it, it's there. When you want it, it's there. So instead of being limited by the pentatonic scale over this progression, I have access to the whole G major scale if I want. That didn't sound like the minor pentatonic scale at all, but it was all within the context of those three chords. theory is valuable in that it'll let you know by its own standards what's supposed to fit and what's supposed to sound good, but it doesn't limit you in any way. It is meant to be bent and twisted and broken, but you can't twist, bend, or break something that you don't possess. It's not going to be effective. You won't do it with any consistency. You may hit a crazy awesome lick just playing random notes from time to time, but don't you want to know what it is you just did and be able to repeat that and also experiment with ideas just like that and explore areas that you never would have found had it not been for music theory. Again, I have to keep stressing this because I get really passionate and I can seem like I'm trying to veer you towards music theory. You don't need it to be successful as a musician. I just know that pretty much all of my favorite musicians, modern day guys, 
are trained in music theory. And all I mean by that is they understand, oh, this is the key of G, I can use this scale, or this is the key of F sharp, I can use this harmonic minor shape maybe, or they know what a seventh chord is, or they understand the construction of a triad is three notes. You know, basic stuff like that, almost common sense if you get into it a little bit. Uh, my course, Guitar Super System, will give you the exact foundation that I'm talking about. You never have to go deeper than that if you don't want to, but that level of communication, musician to musician, I think is extremely valuable and will expand your playing so much. If nothing else, it'll help you discover your voice if you haven't yet, and it will help you refine your voice if you've already found it. So consider music theory if you've never delved into it, and if you have gotten into it, then maybe you agree with a lot of the stuff that I'm saying. Guitar Super System Level 1 and 2 courses, they're linked down below in the description and they give you a ton of music knowledge in a very short amount of time. So you can pick and choose what you want. Like I said, it's all about having the biggest buffet available and being able to create the best meal you've ever tasted. So that's my message for today, why you need music theory in your life. Check out music theory if you've never done it before and maybe if you're not very consistent with it but you have dipped your toe into the music theory pond, then consider taking a dip more often because it really is enlightening and it's fun. Maybe I'm just a nerd, but I think it's really fun to have a chord progression and be like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna paint on this blank canvas? Uh, sometimes I just go straight from the heart, straight from the ear training well, but other times I like to approach things using music theory with a more thought out approach and it really becomes internalized as time goes on and as you get better with understanding how to implement these things into your guitar playing, it doesn't become robotic or anything like that. It actually becomes more natural. So I hope this message finds you well guys. Keep shredding. I'll see you next time. <laughs>